Well, good afternoon and welcome to the Idahoan Show. A few weeks ago, I saw a sudden surge in viewership of this channel, uh, so thank you for your attention. Uh, to all of you new subscribers, welcome to the show, and to those of you who've been with me since the beginning, thank you for your loyalty. Um, however, during that initial surge, I kind of fell behind on responding to viewer comments. Um, I think I'm more or less caught up now, but I wanted to make this quick video to address some of the recurring comments that I saw during that period and may not have had a chance to respond to individually. Probably the single most common comment that I got was people commenting on the echo in the shop and pointing out that it kind of detracts from the uh, narration in my video on making a rifle barrel. Um, so, yes, I'm aware of the problem. Um, yes, the shop does have quite an echo. Uh, I'm going to look into a number of different things to hopefully remedy that in the future. A lot of people have suggested putting up sound absorbing materials in the shop. I'm hesitant to do that for a couple of reasons. One, just the, the cost in terms of time to put them up and money to go buy materials. Uh, but perhaps more significantly than that, the fact that most uh, good sound absorbing materials, like carpet for example, are also fairly flammable. And I don't want to put up a lot of flammable materials in a shop where I'm doing welding and you know, grinding and you know, cutting with a plasma cutter and other things that uh, would create a fire hazard. Uh, so I might be able to build like a little insulated booth somewhere in the shop and do some, you know, do most of the narration over there. Um, we'll we'll see what I can come up with. Um, you know, some people have also suggested using a lapel mic or you know some other type of special microphone to uh, minimize the effects of the echo. Um, I don't think that the cheap camcorders that I have are compatible with an external microphone, but. Uh, that's something I can certainly look into as well. Now, I don't want to take too much time away from sort of my core projects, you know, like building gun barrels for these experiments, uh, you know, in order to go and do a science project on how to uh, eliminate the echo when I'm narrating those projects in the shop. Um, but uh, I, I do have some things to experiment with, so. Uh, hopefully people will bear with me until I can find a solution that works in that regard. Now on my barrel making videos, I've also gotten a lot of uh, viewer suggestions on things they'd like to see or uh, variations of these gun barrels that, uh, that I should try building. Um, most of them I think were projects that I already more or less had on my list to try anyway, but specifically I've seen requests for longer barrels. Um, interest in a center fire uh, barrel out of DOM tubing, uh, interest in a rifle barrel out of DOM tubing, uh, and some suggestions for trying to do broached rifling uh, versus button rifling. Um, so I'm definitely going to look into all of those things in the future. I've got kind of a busy summer plan, so once again I'm not sure how soon I'll be able to uh, do those projects and upload those videos, but rest assured they are in the works. So, I think that's about it for this quick announcement. Uh, until next time, thanks for watching the Idaho Show.